Hi, Yarna Bees. How are you today? Oh, it's been a bit of a week. Yes, it has. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, man. Um, I've been working lots. Well, okay, that's a lie because I took yesterday off. And then I took half a shift off because my back was killing me. And um, yeah. <laughs> so today is going to be a more full day. <clears throat> I'm trying to really watch my back and make sure that everything's all good. You know, I don't want to overdo myself. And because uh, I tend to do that, you know. Anyway, um, I'd like to start off by sending out a huge huge hug and love to Dana from Wonderless Crochet. Um, she's having a really hard time right now. Most of you probably already know this um, but for those of you that don't know Dana go check out her channel. Um, she has a best friend and co-pilot named Dooley and he's a beautiful dog. And <clears throat> unfortunately, um, Dana just found out that he has a very aggressive type of cancer and she's trying to do what she can to make him comfortable. Um, but she thinks that this is probably going to be the last week that she has with him, which is absolutely heart wrenching they have such a close relationship it's in it's it's crazy their relationship Dooley is like her son and he goes everywhere with her and they love each other so much so it just it breaks my heart to see her so distraught um so go over to dana's channel give her some love and um, tell her that you're thinking about her and that you love her. Because uh, this is a really, really hard thing to go through. Been there. Um, <clears throat> my relationship with Odie wasn't as strong as Dana and Dooley's. Um, I love Odie. I, I will always love Odie. But Dana and Dooley, they are inseparable. They really are. <clears throat> So I love you, Dana. I'm thinking about you every day. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I don't know if I talked about this at all. <clears throat> um, I work for Skip the Dishes. It's a food delivery company. And uh, I used to work for DoorDash. Um, but when I got, I got into a, a rear ender and <clears throat> I was in pain. <laughs> and so I took a couple of weeks off and with DoorDash, you, you get top dasher status. If you're always like, if you're working all the time, you got, you have to get a hundred deliveries a month to keep your top dasher. I lost my top dasher. <coughs> Excuse me. I lost my top dasher. So it's really, really hard to get that back because you have to try and schedule shifts to get the orders. And if all the top dashers have taken the schedule, you can't get on shift. They make it really difficult for people. So I let go of, top, of uh, DoorDash. George still works for DoorDash. But uh, he also works for Uber Eats. So I was, I'm in the process of trying to get um, all my paperwork in with Uber Eats. It's been a hassle. OMG. I'm telling you, it's been a couple of months of trying to get them to figure out their crap. Oh, I got all my paperwork in. It was all approved. The background check has to go through a company called ISB. So ISB has to give Uber the link to, so I can get my paperwork. Blah. Anyways, 
Somebody dropped the ball. I've been fighting with them for two weeks now, trying to get them to send me the damn link so I can get my background check done. Nothing, 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 nothing. I've been calling and calling and I've been getting madder and madder. And um, finally, yesterday, I got something in the mail or in an email. Uh, I'm thinking that's what it was. I don't know. They were asking for my ID and stuff. So, well, excuse me. Oh, I uh, guess I'm a little more tired than I thought I was. <laughs> oh, like I said, it's been a week. So anyways, I got that done. So now I'm waiting to see if that's actually the paperwork that they needed or whatever. So yeah. So maybe I'll be working for Uber Eats. But in the midst of waiting for all of this, I was getting really frustrated. And um, George and I were on our Sunday fun day. And we made a delivery to a cannabis store. George went in for that one. My back was just trashed. And I was like, okay, after this one, I'm done. So he goes in there with my order and talks to the lady at the counter. And they were saying that they're looking for drivers. I'm going, hmm, cannabis stores deliver? <laughs> I had no idea. So I put my application in. I haven't heard anything from them yet because I, I was straight up with them. They said, well, okay, we don't have deliveries all the time. So would you be willing to stand at the counter and sell cannabis and all that? And I looked at them and I said, I have zero experience with cannabis. I know nothing about it, but I'll try. <laughs> You know, like, what am I going to say? I can't lie to them. You know, I don't smoke it. I don't, I don't even take CBD oil, right? I don't know anything about it, right? Um, so I guess maybe they don't want me. <laughs> but anyways, then, and then all of a sudden I got my, my Uber paperwork that came in and I was like, okay, there's a sign. I think <laughs> I'm not supposed to be driving pod around, I guess. <laughs> so, yeah. <coughs> Anyways. Um, yeah. So that, that was that. Um, I wanted to give you an update. Remember I was telling you about that house that blew up in Nanaimo here. Uh, it was a, a natural gas thing. Um, well, I think they found out that it was not arson, but it was, um, tampering or something. There was some squatters, um, some homeless people in the house at one time. So they're thinking either it was them, which I don't understand that logic because they still need somewhere to squat. So uh, blowing up the house was, that would have been stupid. <laughs> Um, the other thing was the people that used to live there were basically not kicked out, but they were evicted, evicted. That's not the right word. They were asked to leave because they were going to fix the house, resell it and all that kind of stuff. They think that these people weren't too happy. Well, I'm, if I was being uprooted out of my house, you know, I think, I don't think I'd be too happy either, but I wouldn't blow it up. Yeah, so they, yeah, anyway, they think there was some foul play happening, you know. Uh, so anyways, I, on my, our Sunday fun day, I asked George if we could go and check out the house. So we did. And this is what I saw. Okay, guys. So here's an update on that blown up house. This is it. It's uh, completely obliterated completely and this is the church that's right across from it this is the graveyard that has like debris all over it like wow there's absolutely nothing that resembles a house so that was fun <laughs> there is like nothing left of this house nothing right down to the ground like, I, I was shocked, but the explosion was so huge. 
there's no way anything would have been left. The houses on the sides of this house were boarded up. The windows were all boarded up because they were blown out. Um, I could not imagine being beside that house. Oh my good Lord. There was houses from like a couple blocks away that had debris hit their houses and damaged their houses. So yeah, it was not a good scene. Not at all. So yeah, that was that. <laughs> Okay, uh, I talked to you a little bit um, about, did I or didn't I? Maybe I didn't. I don't remember. Anyway, on, on one of my yarn hauls, I got a, an order from Aberdeen Wool. And it was the puzzle yarn and the toy box yarn. Do you remember that one? Well, a few days after that... I suddenly got another bag out of nowhere. I think I did talk to you about this. Um, what happened, I think, is when I tried to put the order through on the website, the website crashed. It was like something wasn't going through. It When I tried to hit um, the order button, it, it something didn't work. So I tried that a couple times. And then I phoned them and I said help you know like i i'm trying to put this order through i want to get in before um you guys change the price on the puzzle yarn because the puzzle yarn was on sale for five dollars and so she says oh okay that's fine i'll tell the the techs that uh, there's something wrong with the website and i'll put it in manually okay so she puts it in manually and i thought yay okay great well <laughs> I guess the tech guys caught up and sent me another bag of yarn. So I had double the bags. Yeah, I did talk to you about this because I was saying I'm going to send, um, I'm going to send, uh, give some to Sandy from Left is Right Crochet. Anyways, last week, I got another bag. three orders of the same yarn exact same yarn so i've got 15 skeins or had 15 skeins of the puzzle and then i had 24 i think it's 24 skeins of this toy box <laughs> <laughs> I looked on the site and I, it was weird because it said I've paid for one, then they refunded one, and then I paid for the other one. So, I don't know. I tried to call them, but they were closed. I don't know what happened. If I get another bag, I'm going to be like, okay, enough. <laughs> really <laughs> so yeah so i got i have a lot now <laughs> uh, so, but yeah that so that was fun <laughs> so i decided and i'm i'm maybe i'm smart maybe i'm not i don't know <clears throat> i decided to go off my disability pension. I know, gasp, screaming at me, you know, what am I thinking? I, I believe me, I've been going through <clears throat> some very highs and lows in the last few days about this. I've cried a lot of tears, um, but I decided to go off my disability pension because I want George and I to be able to get married. Okay. No, we're not married. Um, we've been together for eight years and we're not married. We've been engaged for six years. Um, so I, I figured, you know what, it's time to pull the plug on this and, um, actually get married. 
<clears throat> I've given a lot of thought to the future and I, I want the security. Um, George is doing up his will just in case anything happens. And we are, we're going to, we're going to do it. Um, for those of the, you that are new and you don't know my, my past history, um, my uh, past husband passed away and we weren't married either. Um, we were common law and the legalities and the, all that stuff um, was insane. Jane from Scraptastic Yarns just lost her husband. She's going through it. I get it. It's a nightmare if you're not prepared. <clears throat> um, my husband didn't have a will. Um, his name was on everything. So I had to try and prove that we were common law. Uh, so I could get a widow's pension and I could deal with all of his stuff. I don't want to go through that again. I, I really don't. So I, t I decided that, you know what, um, I'm just going to bite the bullet and get rid of my widow's pen or gets, get rid of my, um, disability pension <clears throat> and George and I are going to get married. That's why I've been working more than normal and I'm busting my butt and it scares me. It really scares me. Like I, I mean, I have bills to pay. Um, that's $900 a month that I'm not going to get right? That's my income. That's, you know, that's what gives me this. That's what, you know, pays whatever bills I've got. It's not, it's not a lot, right? So for me to lose that, that security blanket was hard. Um, I'm still dealing with it, but, uh, I'm also trying to make up for it. So by me doing the Uber Eats as well, and my YouTube channel, <clears throat> and <clears throat> excuse me, I'm getting my, my website together so that I can start selling my product online. Hopefully, uh, I'm trying to put things in place so that I don't have to worry. So yeah, so that's, that's been a stressor this week. Oh, total stressor. Okay. So I put in a couple of orders last week, week before couple weeks ago. Anyway, I usually buy my amigurumi eyes. Hang on. Oh, like <laughs> these eyes. Oops. Come on, sit. These eyes I get from a company called Dark. Um, oh, oh, stay. Uh, Dark Side Eyes. They're fantastic. Love them. They're handmade. They come from the UK. Uh, the customer service is phenomenal. I, ju I just love their stuff. And they're very inexpensive, which blows my mind. And they're quick. Quick. Right? <clears throat> I found another company called Suncatcher Craft Eyes. Um, they are also hand done. And I thought, you know, I need bigger eyes, like I 30, 30 millimeter eyes. So I decided that I was going to try them because they are more local. Um, but guys, I was, I'm really disappointed. I'm really disappointed. These are the eyes that I got. Now they look great in camera. Um, these are the backs of them. You can tell that they've been painted. Not that that matters because you won't see them, but they're kind of, they're foggy. They're not crisp and clean like the other ones. They're, you can tell, well, maybe not on camera. 
<clears throat> they look really crisp and clean and, and everything on film. But I don't know if you can see. No, I can't really see. But they're actually kind of foggy. So I'm not overly impressed with them. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. <clears throat> Ever since I had COVID, I've got this <clears throat> thing happening. Um, so, yeah, they're... And I think they're more expensive, to be honest. But I got their um, their mixed pack or whatever. So, yeah, I mean, I'm just not, not overly impressed. If you get your amigurumi eyes from sun catchers, let me know what you what your thoughts are. Because I I honestly I believe that dark side eyes are top notch. Top notch. It comes on a on a um a piece of uh what do you call it? craft board, craft whatever, and they actually write on the board what they are. Right. And they have so many different types uh, of like eyes. And it's really cool. If you, you get the chance, go check it out. I will leave their link down below. I'll leave Suncatcher's link down below as well. <clears throat> but yeah, I, I just think that next time I'm just going to stay with dark side eyes, um, which is really unfortunate. But it's like I was really hoping that they were going to be just as good but they're not. <clears throat> okay. The, another thing that I got in the mail, um, Jeanette from, um, miss. <laughs> wow. I must be tired. Miss Hootie Hooten and Crafts, uh, that I am doing the be Hootiful 12 project collab with. Um, she's starting to make purses. She got a, uh, cricket machine and she's making these phenomenal purses. It's so cool what she's doing with this cricket machine. I had no idea. It was insane. Um, so anyway, she kind of got me thinking about stuff. So I went on Amazon and I ordered these. Maybe I'll take one out of the bag crinkling I got one some of these okay on the bottom they have the little deweys that you sit your purse on okay and this is the purse bottom and then you put your crochet hook in these holes oh my phone's ringing it must be George you put your crochet hook in these holes and pull your yarn through. <clears throat> now I got these in a bunch of different colors. And um, I'm thinking I want to try to make some purses. I haven't done, like I've made, I think I made one purse, but hang on guys. My phone won't stop. Oh, there we go. Okay. Um, so I have, a, I crocheted a purse, but it's, it's all loosey goosey and floppy. Right. So I, I've never tried these before. I've been thinking about it for like a year and I finally bit the bullet and got them. So they weren't very expensive to be honest. Um, but they're, they're cardboardy wood, uh, cardboardy, you know, faux leather, um, so yeah, so I'm, I'm going to be trying that. So I'll keep you posted on that. <clears throat> Speaking of the Be Hootiful, uh, collab that I'm doing, don't forget to go and check out, um, Jeanette's channel. I believe this month was her month. It feels like it's been forever. Like, oh, George really wants to get a hold of me. Hold on. Sorry about that, guys. I just got the weirdest phone call. Anyway, <laughs> whatever. Um, I forgot what I was talking about. Be beautiful. Go check out her channel. <laughs> That's what I was trying to say. Uh, her link is always going to be down below for this the next part of the, the rest of the year because we are doing a 12 project collab. Um, we are she's doing one month, I'm doing the next month and so on. 
and we're doing either tutor written tutorial or written patterns for you to try for that whole month or we're doing a tutorial for you to try for that whole month okay okay i want to do a shout out and it's to fostering crochet funny <laughs> I, every time I watch one of her videos, I laugh. She is, wow, she is a force, man. She, she's, she's so like, just blah, 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 Like, she's just, she's got so much energy and it's like her mind is going faster than her mouth. And the stuff she says is hilarious. Like she's just, I just really enjoy watching her. Like, <laughs> I don't know what it is, but it's just, she's fun. She's really fun. And I mean, I just had to sit down in a room with her would be great. I mean, I would be in stitches all the time. I know I would. So I've got, I'm going to put her link down below. She's a hoot. Okay. You got to go check her out. Okay, another video that I want to talk to you about. I got a message from Lori, from Lori Hooks. Um, talk, she was saying that she has a way to get Hobby Lobby into Canada. <gasps> Gasp! Um, so I watched her video and I went and checked out the site that she was talking about. Now, the to be able to get the Hobby Lobby into Canada to that site, it's called Shipsy. And you can pick up your items at that Shipsy office, wherever it is. And I, she says there's one in Vancouver, but that's too far from me. So to get it shipped from Vancouver to here, I don't know how much it would cost. I'd have to find out. But um, if you're in Ontario, or something like that. There's an office right there. Um, I will leave the link to her video down below and uh, go check it out because it, if you're in the area, um, I think Scarborough, Ontario or something. Um, Scarborough? 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 <laughs> I live in Canada. I don't, I don't even know what the name of it is. <laughs> Holy cow. Anyways, um, it, it would be beneficial, I think. I don't think the fees are that much. And like she said, if you can get Hobby Lobby on a, you know, free shipping week, it would be really beneficial. So anyways, go check her out. Go check out the channel. She's a new channel. So go give her some love. Like go do the subscribe and, and like and all that kind of stuff too. Okay, guys, that's all I have for you. Oh, don't no, wait. I'll do that on another video. I'm about to start my shift. So, okay, guys, I love you all. Thanks for joining me. And uh, thanks for listening to me, Gab. I just needed to, I guess I needed to kind of vent out stuff or something for the most part. <laughs> anyway, okay, I love you all. And I will talk to you guys soon. Okay, bye. Bye.